Another close-up of Obama's forehead is very evident in this picture. I just found it on the Drudge Report. So we're going to take a closer look at it. You can see the line extending up from the inner edge of his left eyebrow. And it's directly pointing to the area where these lumps and bumps keep appearing and disappearing. If you find a photograph that you want to analyze, you think you've seen something, and you go ahead and you analyze it and you do discover something, you can always double check yourself by using another photograph and going back and seeing if you find the same thing. And I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time you will, it will be verified. So let's take a closer look here. He's got very evil, deceitful eyes in this photograph, doesn't he? I've added a lot of contrast and some color. And by doing this, we see how segmented Obama's forehead is. And if you say, well, this looks like some sort of Frankenstein creation, you're absolutely right. He is. People have mentioned to me, and I have noticed myself, how these lumps and bumps, these large lumps and bumps on Obama's forehead are moving around. It's not normal. So here we have a close-up and we can see what's causing part of the problem and all the movement. Here's two little interdimensional entities right here. The one on the right is looking directly at us. The one to the left, it seems to be looking down. Here's a real good comparison between Obama and John Boehner. So you can see the difference and see how implanted Obama is. He's a creation. Don't fall for the illusion that we have a real genuine human president in the White House of the USA because we don't. 